welcome back to Moon Glow Bay. We just heard some singing, apparently, going on in the town, and I'm kind of curious about what that is, so I'm hopefully going to find the source today, and hopefully we're going to tackle the twin boss fish too. That would be amazing, because we just got the ocean door opened, finally. <laughs> Took a while, but I got there <laughs> in the end, and we done a lot of renovations last time as well, so I was very busy last episode. It was kind of infuriating but we did it <laughs> so that's the main thing hey rose gorgeous tune what's it called i don't believe it has a name i learned it from shizuka i thought it was a mermaid or something but it was just rose <laughs> who in turn learned it from a magical clam oh okay is this a little mermaid reference i don't know i have no idea okay <laughs> Awkward silence. No explanation needed, I guess. Okay, do I have to find this magic, like, clam? Um, I have to go and find Shizuka, wherever she is. Uh, she's, like, down this way. I guess we could do this, like, whilst we're here and see, like, where this quest sort of, like, ends up. So I'm kind of, like, curious. Um, it looks like whoever I need to talk to is not available at like 2am, like fair enough. <laughs> I think that's fair. <laughs> so yeah, I should probably go to bed. My character's actually like really tired right now actually, so it probably would be an idea. We are going to do the twin fish as well. I just really want to know like where this quest actually takes me. So I'm just going to like go as far as I can like whilst it's like in the town because you know there's probably going to be a point where it's going to ask me to do something crazy most likely i probably should have slept until like the afternoon i'm gonna sleep till the afternoon it's always a good idea to play like during the afternoon instead of like early hours or too late because then the stores will all be open so that's what i like to do okay can i ask you a question mrs goto not this one though a different one not off to a brilliant start, are we? It's about a song you taught to Rose Tremblay. Ah, yes, she was an appalling vocalist when we, ne when we met. I taught her everything. It's how we became friends. She said you learned it from a magical clam. <laughs> Sorry, was that your question? And yes, you're correct. Some 10, 15 years ago now. It's incredible how time flies, isn't it? Uh, you're still thinking about the magical clam parts, aren't you? By all means, see for yourself. It resides in shallow steam. Ooh, okay. We have to go up in that direction anyway, so I feel like that was a really good thing to do because now we can do two birds with one stone, right? Because we got to go down here to battle these twin fish and we also have a quest up here with this magical clam so we can do both of the things at the same time. So yeah, that was a, a great idea actually to continue with that one just a little bit. So that's awesome. Let's do this. We have our objectives. Let's get this show on the road. Let's go. All right, let's get our little dinghy out and ride the rapids and see where this magical clam is. I'm kind of curious about what this thing looks like. I think it's gonna be interesting for sure. How am I gonna get round to that section? I'm not entirely sure. Have I got a backtrack like and go up and around? think that it could be this way anyways I think let me see there's some rapids in the way but there's a really narrow little tiny pathway here can I squeeze through it not sure I feel like I might be able to this is really awkward is it possible to squeeze through here I'm not sure <laughs> I don't know if you can oh gosh this looks impossible doesn't it Maybe not. I, I'm not sure if I want like want to get my my boat stuck. So maybe there's like an alternative way to go. Cause yeah, this isn't working out too well. Oh, I got out. Oh my gosh. Yeah, don't go down down that way. <laughs> it's it's not a good idea. <laughs> you get like jammed, and it's just like impossible to to go down that way. So I'm gonna take this route. And see if this will let me go up. I might have taken a wrong turning here. I'm not quite sure. I have to see. Can I make it up through here? Maybe. I'm really close to it. Really close to it. Is it down here? 
Wait, I think it could be down this way. Hey, I found it. Awesome. Here's the source. Incredible. Whistling rocks. The geisters must be driving air through hollow sections in the rocks. It's no singing clam, but amazing all the same. Another mystery solved. Yeah, I guess. She looks disappointed. <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing. It's just a shame to spoil the story for Rose and Shizuka. Sharing this music was how they became friends. Aw, oh, that's true. That's true. I guess we'll have to go and uh, tell them at some point even though it's a little bit sad but that's okay where am I I don't know sometimes it like goes so quick that I just can't keep up with it it's crazy it's crazy um I think I'm gonna go round and like go get my two cats boat so yeah I'm gonna go round and then like we'll tackle the boss like probably be best to do it like actually in the two cats instead of with a tiny little rubber dinghy because of course we opened the gate now so we should be able to do that right so that would be a really good idea I just wanted to go in the shallows so that we could do the clam quest but now that is conquered okay here we go through the gates and time to tackle the boss i am excited <laughs> i always like doing these boss fights they're intriguing and interesting and i'm looking forward to seeing what kind of mechanics hopefully it's not too difficult and hopefully it doesn't go all silly on me but we'll see all right to the better angel fish imagine selling just one would save the whole town they're too dangerous together we need to find a way to wedge them up part it's kind of sad in a way right like can you imagine how long these fish have been together for are you sure about this i mean the way marina spoke they clearly need to be separated taking one we're doing them both a favor are you sure i don't know i feel a bit mean separating them come on those stacks of rocks could make a perfect water break okay all right, how are we going to do this? Oh, we actually do do the fight on the dinghies. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. I had no idea. All right, so I don't know what I have to do. There's not too much you can do with the dinghy. You can still fish and you can still use your net, but I'm not entirely sure like what else we can really do. So unsure. What does it want me to do here? That's the question. I've got to work it out. Oh gosh. Okay, my objective says here. Um, that over there is just where my boat is, I think. So my objective says I need to be here or something. I don't even know where the fish are. Like, where even are they? Ah, there are the fish. There's the fish. Oh my god. It like, oh, they're angry. They're very angry fishies. Can I... Wait. Oh, I was gonna try and, like, fish them. Like, hook them up or something. Can I do that? I don't think I can. I've got to separate them, don't I? So I don't think that's the thing I have to do. How do I... How do I do this, though? I don't know. Oh, my God. They send you flying. Holy moly. They really send you flying. Wait. Oh. Oh, you have to get the fish to push you into the rock. Oh, I see. I see, okay. I didn't realize that. First. So I should just wait here, wait for him to push me. There you go. Oh, okay, so that's what you have to do. <laughs> I had no idea. I was literally, like, it happened by accident to be, oh, oh no. Oh no, I've glitched inside the rock. Oh no. Oh, it's okay. I came back out. <laughs> oh God, that scared me. <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was like glitched inside for a second. Okay, okay. Let's try and get like pushed from like this angle or something. All right, uh, no, that didn't quite work out, but <laughs> that's okay. All right, at least I know what I need to kind of do now. Maybe I've got to do the other side, because, like, I feel like we've got to, like, topple it a little. Let's, like, let him push me. No? Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's try, like, the other side. I want to try, like, over here. The artful escape. I'm downloading loads of stuff for, for my Xbox <laughs> at the moment. Okay, can I have a little push, please? Push me, please. Push me, please. You need to push me more than that, you silly fishies. All right, which way shall I try? I'm gonna try from like here. Maybe they'll push me. I can't like keep still. It won't keep still. All right, I'm just gonna wait here a sec and hope that they push me into it. That would be great. But you know, they kind of just do whatever they want. Yeah, it's not, 
not pushing me into it right now. I'll get a bit closer, see if this helps a little bit. Come on, push me into it. It's not, not working. Ah, there we go, there we go. Awesome, I think it must be close, right? Is it done? Yeah, we did it, success. Now for the easy part, we just got a real one in. Okay, are you sure about this? Wait, mom, they're so peaceful. Oh, I feel almost bad about this. I can't do it. Marina was right. They are priceless. So much for saving the town. Oh, you are saving the town piece by piece the way it should be. Oh, so we can't keep these fish. I, I mean, I did feel bad about taking them away from this area. And hey, you never know. Maybe there's treasure on that wreck. Ooh, maybe, maybe. I didn't even get a good look at those fish. I wanted to see what they looked like. Well, that was a bust. I found two conch shells and a metal pipe. Aw, oh, that's a shame. Maybe can't you just take like a scale of the fish and like sell that or something? Same, nothing but scrap metal and whatever this doodad is. What is that? What is that weird box? Which I immediately go and break. Nice one, River. Wait, what is that? I don't know. What is that? Looks like a blueprint. The icebreaker. The icebreaker? River, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Possibly. We cruise back to town and take a quick nap and then have a light salmon lunch. <laughs> I don't think that's what she's thinking. She want to build that thing. <laughs> exactly. Wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> look at that blueprint again. <laughs> oh, and hey, we should get Abby to look at this blueprint. She loves random old junk. I was wondering what she sees in you. You're grounded. I certainly am, assuming you mean down to earth and hilarious. <laughs> okay, I think that's like the first fish that we haven't like really like done anything to. Like, I think the only thing we really did was separate them, right? We didn't really like do anything to them. Like with the, the storm fish, we took the antenna off. With the whale, we took the harpoons out. We didn't actually like physically really do anything to those fish. It's probably the first time that's happened. I think that's probably a good thing. I'm glad that, you know, my main character like had a little bit of heart and was like, no, actually, we're not going to do this. There's other ways that we can save Moonglow Bay and make it nice again so yeah we'll do it the hard way piece by piece so that all the fishies get to live so does that mean my my like fishing journal has been updated with this new fish shall we see because i really want to know what it looks like um and like i didn't really get to see it very well so i would love to see what this says oh wow they look really pretty you can't really see them too well because they're like underneath the water and they don't ever really like come out really so it's hard to see them but there they are they look they look awesome discovered a century ago the founding brothers were unable to determine if their presence would been would bring fortune or doom to their fledgling town and sealed its habitat locking the territorial species in contest ever since oh i guess it was a good thing that we separated them i thought like they were like friends or something at first <laughs> I didn't realise that they were fighting each other. <laughs> maybe, I don't know, or maybe, I'm not sure if it like really said that that's what they were doing or if I just didn't catch on, I don't really know. But there's one more boss fish to go. I think we've done most of them, so that's cool. One more to go, I wonder what it could be. I'm excited. All right, um, unless there's like some secret one that I just don't know about. But yeah, back to, back to town now to see what Abby makes of this icebreaker blueprint. So does that mean we're going to upgrade the boat with something that can break ice and continue into like a new portion of the map or something maybe i was didn't even realize there was going to be a new section over there so it's kind of cool to see but there are actually like a, there's a big section up here that's blurred out as well to be fair so maybe there is like something just a little bit more all right this is abby's scrap shop so let's see what she says about this blueprint i think she'll be amazed <laughs> abby you like boat accessories right am i so transparent here in my boat accessory shop <laughs> <laughs> All right, Captain Sarcasm, what do you make of this? An icebreaker bow? 
With this attached, even your scrawny vessel could clear away the sea ice. Sure you're up to this? There are strange creatures among the glaciers. There are strange creatures everywhere. That is true. Okay, I'll build your new bow, but do me one favor. Marina and Claude know more about the glaciers than anyone. Speak to them first. I have the icebreaker ready when you get back. Okay. Oh, so that's cool. So I just need to do some like request for some like townspeople and she'll build it for free. That's generous, I have to say. Is this game feeling okay? Not charging me shells? <laughs> What's going on here? I don't know. All right, we'll find out what they want. They probably want me to do something complicated and difficult though don't they <laughs> but it's all right i'll figure it out all right hello um not you i must have clicked the wrong person oh hello all right cool we found out who we need to speak to um oh this is for the other quest did you find the source of the music the magical clams we certainly did and and it's amazing see just like i said Rose came by to share a recipe, but we've both lost our appetite for the for clam. Ooh, nice. We got a free free recipe. It's all yours for being such a fine sleuth. <laughs> Yay, new recipe. We got Cullen Shink, I think. Smoky Scottish potato. I think that's what I unlocked anyway. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. New recipe for me. I am not going to complain about that. So that is awesome. All right. So we want to go into the aquarium and see what Marina says. Claude, you're the only one who knows the way. The bay will be consumed. You have to do something. What do you mean consumed? What? <laughs> Last time was the last time. I said it and I meant it. Moonglow Bay can save itself. Why is he so grouchy? What's going on here? I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to find out. Claude, do I have to beg? What's the problem? Yeah, what's going on? Ink. A river of the stuff is pouring from the glaciers. It's happened before, and only Claude knows how to reach the source. So why can't he just explain? Wow. Exactly. Why can't you just explain, Claude? It must be some kind of cephalopod, a squid or octopus. Is it like a giant one? Oh my gosh, is that our last boss? Maybe, I don't know. Wasn't the Glacier Research Outpost built to study the Arctic creatures? Yeah, it was going to be Moonglow's crowning achievement, but we lost funding with the aquarium. My partner, Olivia, stays out there keeping on the lights, but she doesn't have enough resources to figure out what Claude already knows. I'll speak to him. Good, because if it gets any worse, that ink could destroy everything we've been working towards. Actually, Mousy, while you're waving your magic wand, <laughs> sure, what do you need? Customers and repairing the train station would go a long way. Oh yeah, I really want to repair that actually. They also need a reason to visit, which means finding more unique species for the aquarium. Haven't I got enough? Like, <laughs> there's a lot in the aquarium now. <laughs> I know I'm asking a huge amount, but I'll find a way. I always do. All right, like what? What do you want for the aquarium? Let's see, 50 species in the aquarium? I've got 31% out of 33. I don't know, I've got a couple that I can donate right now. I think that they're not open right now. Give me a sec, ah, oh, there she is, she's just here. I do actually have some, these were from the lobster trap. So I've got a glacial crush claw and also a fork toting pin pincher, I think that says, I don't know. <laughs> All right, there you go. All right, did I did I do both of those? I think I accidentally clicked that one off by accident. All right, so what is it? What is it at now? I'll just check out the entries first. Um actually, attributed to the one occasion it rained fish, though no one can say precisely when. <laughs> Okay, and we also got the ice lobster. Curses those who consume it with rashes and dizziness, particularly if they're allergic to shellfish. Right, that makes sense. All right, what have I got now? 32%. I must be really close with the with the aquarium already. I've been like donating a lot, actually. So we need to inquire at the train station. So we should do that. I'm just gonna unmark the aquarium for now because 
we don't really need that marked at the moment i don't think so yeah we'll go and talk to these other two characters and see exactly what they want i think we're probably gonna have to do some more like renovation stuff so i'm probably gonna have to earn even more money oh no <laughs> i think if i am gonna go down that route i definitely want to upgrade my boat to make it faster because like that's really been driving me like really mad recently so i really want to do that i did buy out most of the recipes from the fish market as well because i was thinking like the more recipes i have the more chance i would have to get a recipe that has like more shells because obviously the trend changes each day so i did buy out all the recipes at the fish market as well just to help with that a little bit and i did also buy the vending machine upgrade that allows your meals to sell for 10 percent higher i brought all those out when i was trying to make money like fast so it helped a little bit all right ah mrs fisher where are you headed today i love her hair nowhere well here i suppose i'll start again hello mum you remember heatherways deputy principal at moss creek one stop down the line uh do i i don't know <laughs> Former deputy principal after the cutbacks last year, now I run the cafe and ticket booth. It's a change of pace, but at least I get to see the kids every day. Yeah, about the train station. I'm looking to fix it. What needs doing? A huge project like that, I wouldn't know where to begin. First there's the switches, the gantries, signal system, ballast, plus drainage, stabling, and the rail bus itself. Oh boy, sounds like you know exactly where to begin. Fair point, but I'm reluctant to put a figure on it. Add a guess, including labour, materials, union fees. Oh boy, it's going to be bad. A thousand. Is that all? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's alright. <laughs> that's that's fine. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot, but I was expecting a lot. Like, the library was worse. How is a library more expensive than a train station? <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> Okay, um, if I'm fixing the station, who's gonna sweep the floor? No one. Does it actually need sweeping? Touché, Mrs. Fisher. Is that a thing that needs doing? I don't really know. Alright, so, um, 150 for this. Uh, this is just refurbishing the ramp switches and a new broom. That's not all of it, right? I mean, I can do it right now, so, like, let's do it. But I think there's probably going to be more that I need to put into this. I don't think that's going to be everything. But let's do that anyway. That looks better. Looks a bit nicer, I have to say. So where's the rest of it? Alright, here's another one. Uh, 500 for um, the train station forest. I don't have enough for that right now. But there should be some more signs around here somewhere, I'm assuming. So that's 500 um, over there. And I did 150 right so that's only 650 right isn't there another sign around here somewhere maybe not i'm not really sure i don't see anything around here though but it kind of is a bit strange not to have another one i feel like that she said it was a thousand but i don't know <laughs> maybe she was just telling me roughly i don't really know 500 is not that bad so i should be able to to get that soon but we also have another quest up this way so let's go see what this is oh there's a sign here as well so it's 2000 for the lighthouse staircase so that is quite pricey indeed so uh that's gonna be a pain and this one is a thousand for the lighthouse exterior okay oh gosh this is gonna be a bit painful <laughs> with all this money coming out <laughs> multi miss peck soto sent you to twist my arm eh what she say that a river of darkness is coming, and you're the only one who can stop it. Oh no, <laughs> that does sound really sinister the way she worded that. <laughs> you and I are quite alike, Morty. Really? When my wife passed, I too became the town roustabout, happy to attend to any f affair, no matter how perilous. Including the Kraken. There's a Kraken? Wait, is that the ink monster? <gasps> oh my god, it's the Kraken. I'm sorry, what? Oh my god, it's the Kraken. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> but no more. I'm done. I'm finished. Fine. I'll take care of the Kraken. Just tell me where to find it. It's like, what? No. It's too dangerous. <laughs> I realize now there's no saving Moonglow Bay because Moonglow Bay refuses to save itself. But I'm trying to help. 
Why? Don't do this. Useless. Mum, the Kraken? You don't seem too concerned. We've conquered far worse than a big squid. And like Marina said, her partner Olivia runs the Glacial Research Outpost. We just need to carve a path. Come on, let's see Abby about that icebreaker. Are you sure about this girl? <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know if I have to do the like train station and stuff like um, to do the Kraken. Like some of the quests require you to renovate to proceed, but I'm not sure if this one does. Uh, she returns. All right, what did he say? Marina asked if I could turn the aquarium into a tourism hotspot. No small feat, and Claude? Claude was even less helpful. Well, I took the liberty of attaching the icebreaker to the two cats. You should have no problem cracking through the sea ice. <gasps> I'm so excited. Just be careful. It's a strange world out there among the glaciers. I'm sure Elvis can tell you stories. Okay, so that's where I have to go, right? Okay, hey, is everything all right? I don't remind you of anyone, do I? Like, Claude? Oh, it like got to her. Oh, Bless her. Not one bit. For, for a start, you still care. Okay, so what do I do? Let's have a look. Do I have to go talk to Elvis? I'm not really sure. Let's like look at the map, see what we've got. I'll take the train station off just for a second, just so I can see where to go. So yeah, I've got to go talk to Elvis to uh, get some like fishy tails so that we can learn a little bit more about the Kraken. Although even though he usually just like gives you false information and like rumors and stuff, but whatever. <laughs> there's a lot to renovate now. There's like the beaches, there's the train station. There's so much now. So yeah, it's really opened up with the renovation there's something here too um the harbour view west uh 1200 for that there's something over here as well um the gazebo 850 so much so much to renovate oh my gosh <laughs> gonna need so much money for all of that okay elvis a bit of an ominous request this time tell me about the kraken oh no here we go the kraken that most legendary monster of the sea whose name derives from the modern Scandi Scandinavian Kraki. Elvis, for shame, you don't have one outlandish tale of your own? I wouldn't normally say this, but you should ask Claude. That man's an expert. I'm just a lowly dream weaver. Really? No tales for me at all? Why did the, the camera went all weird there for a second? Like what? What just happened? Why does my quest still say to go in there did wait did i get kicked out because of the time i think that might be what happened i don't i don't know exactly my objective still says that i need to go there i've got an objective here as well oh that must be the research place interesting why does my objective still down there though not entirely sure maybe claude's in there maybe that's why but he's not telling us anything right now. So let's go to the research place and maybe learn a little bit more about the Kraken. Like that would be super cool. So I'm going to head over there now. It's a little bit of a trek. So yeah, I'm just going to sail over there. Wait, what is this? Look at this weird stuff. You can like go through it on your ship. Wait, is this the ink? Oh, this is the ink that the Kraken has left. It looks so weird. That looks so, so odd. It actually um, damages your ship as well. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> need to be a little bit careful when going through that ink. Why does it damage your ship? I don't really know. I guess it would make a mess on your ship, but I'm not really sure why entirely it damages it. I'm not really sure. And you can also see the icebreaker on the front now. You can see that it's like a lot like more sturdy. It's like shielded, like almost. So that's kind of cool. I got um, something here, cleaner shrimp. Okay, I'm just gonna chuck another one in there. Very nice. I don't have any bait left now, sadly. <laughs> I need to go make up some more, but that's okay. All right. I love this area because the little seals, I think they're so adorable. So, so cute. Such cute little guys. All right. We're nearly there. Can I squeeze through? Just, just. All right. So we can land here. We can dock here and hopefully find out something. 
Huh? This can't be right. This is the Glacier Research Outpost. I came here once before and I was like, what is this area about? I was confused. But now I know. Hey, this is the most advanced marine tracking equipment in the Northern Hemisphere. Really? You don't look like you have much. <laughs> Although, yeah, it can get a bit chilly. I can imagine. It looks very cold here. She does seem to have a nice, like, woolly jumper on, though. Olivia Desjardins. My partner, Marina, said someone was coming to take care of the ink. Although, I was anticipating someone more clawed-shaped. <laughs> Claude was less than forthcoming. To put it politely, I bet. But before we dive in, I ought to show you townies how to survive out here. Okay, oh, we're proficient anglers. It's okay. I mean, how to ice fish. It's a whole different kettle of, well, fish. Ice fish? Okay, what does that mean? I don't know, as normal, first select the rod, bait and lure for the type of fish you want to catch. To begin, press the A button next to an appropriate hole in the ice and then wait for a bite. Okay, ice fishing? Oh, that's so cool. When a fish bites, press the right trigger to set the hook. Then get ready to heave the fish to the surface. Alright, let's wait for it to, uh, to hook on then, I suppose. Do you think we'll get anything? think we'll get anything new that'd be so cool what do i do what do i do now press okay when it's in the hit zone let's try that again okay i i didn't know <laughs> why do you explain after the fact <laughs> i literally have no clue what i was doing but it's all right i think i got it now where's the hit zone though where is the hit zone oh there we go i got it you have to wait for the yellow bit to come into the right area. I got it. Okay. Uh, press the A button when the ring is in the hit zone. It is in the... What? I've done it. Yeah. I got a cunner. I already had one of these though. Uh, simple, but be careful. Some fish are more taxing than others. For medium and large fish, you will have to successfully strike multiple times in a row. I struggled just to do it the first time. <laughs> It's very easy to make a mistake and lose your fish. Yeah, like I find that I found that hard just to get a meat like a small one. To create a fishing hole, use this auger to drill through the ice. It would also be useful if you could track large creatures beneath the ice sheet. I'll put in a request to Haru's shop. He's an old friend. Ooh, interesting. Next time you're in town, be sure to pick up the sonar booster. I've already got that actually. Fantastic. Is there anything we can do for Glad you asked. I lost some equipment recently. I dropped it in the drink, Butterfingers. <laughs> that that sounds like something I would do. I'm not expecting miracles, but should you find a small device like an antenna, we'll bring it straight back, you bet. Okay, so where are you heading next? We're going to follow the Ink River and put a stop to it. Amazing. So do you know the secret of the cavern? Absolutely. We we do? What? <laughs> I was gonna say like what what are you talking about? <laughs> Wait, what? The cavern. The secret Claude's been holding on to for. You know what? Never mind. I'd hate to discourage you. Laters. What? Hmm, ominous. What does this mean? We must find out what this means, because I don't know at this point. Okay, so what do I have to do for my quest? Follow the river of ink. Um, wasn't there one for the blizzard fish? This is something else. So we have a quest here with, I think this leads to the Kraken, and we also have a quest down here with Elvis. I'm going to do the one with Elvis first. I think that would be cool because we have to learn about something called the blizzard fish, which I don't really know uh, what's going on. I don't know. Okay, River, any advice? The new icebreaker should carve straight through it. Just build up some steam and it and will plow right through. Ooh, really? Oh wow. <laughs> you can literally just like break all the ice. That's awesome. That's really cool. All right, here we go. We have arrived. Multi, take a seat. I want to tell you about an amazing fish, okay? Oh, would you look at the time? <laughs> Why is everyone so mean to Elvis? <laughs> Come on, I promise this one's real. The blizzard fish. It resides beneath the mystic sphinx in the open chill. Capped purest white, its manifestation heralds the falling snow. 
cool story. Why is everyone so mean to him? <laughs> I want to see this blizzard fish. I'm interested, Elvis. Even if the characters aren't, I am. <laughs> There's evidence. It's in a book and loads of people believed it. They believed a claim, Elvis. That's still not evidence. But okay, I'll bite just this once. We'll take a look. Okay, the blizzard fish, eh? So I got a quest to check that out and also the kraken up there. Cool, cool. I am very intrigued about this, definitely. I think it should be really fun. Okay, I think we'll explore that in the next episode though. We definitely conquered a lot today. We tackled the twin fish bosses and, you know, we found out about a magical clam and all kinds of craziness. So, so it was it was great. It was great fun, actually. I enjoyed myself, um, actually. I managed to actually make progress, which doesn't always happen. <laughs> I feel like anyway. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click on the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate and subscribe. And I hope I'll see See you next time.